What's up guys, it's Josh from Athletic Preparation and today we've got three drills to help you increase your on-field speed, all right? So this is more specific for team sport athletes, help make people miss and also get by people be a lot quicker. Now I'm gonna give you these drills. I wanted to give you guys something practical, something that you can use right now immediately, take with you on the field. You don't need any uh, anyone else or any other really items. We have some cones with us, you don't need them, but uh, we're gonna show you how to set up the drills. And the reason that you guys need to put these into your workouts is because again, they're gonna teach you simple motor patterns to help you make uh, make your movement more efficient on the field. Uh, that way you use less energy and then you're just simply more explosive and more fluid uh, when you're making plays, okay? So first first drill up is gonna be the star drill, okay? This is great for running backs, lacrosse, any really, again, team sport athletes. Um, it really teaches you how to make cuts and lean into it and just get good angles without you having to think, all right? So this is how you set it up really quick. Just grab a cone, throw it down, and we'll take about two giant steps and we're gonna have roughly eight cones around us and every cone is roughly about two to three yards away. So this one is pretty simple. Uh, again, I stole this one from Pete Bomarito, who's a great speed trainer. Go check him out if you haven't done so yet. Um, but anyways, we're just gonna start inside the cone and then we're gonna make a crossover step. So we're gonna cross over with our inside leg, lean into the cone, and then we're gonna come back and reset from the middle cone every single time, all right? And the goal is that we should, on the outside edge of the circle, you want to pretend like it's slanted like a roof, so you have to lean in, all right? So if there was like a tent and the pole's up here, so the inside will be taller, down by the cones, they're gonna, it's gonna be shorter, so it forces you have to lean in, all right? So how to perform the drill? Number one, definitely start slow. So start slow, get the movement down, rehearse it. This I do this with all the kids that I train here in my gym. We go through the pattern first, we like a walk through just like you do for practice, and then we build upon that. So, I'm simply gonna snap that inside knee up over, tap the cone, get back, and then go around the clock, coming back and forth, leaning in, punching the cone every single time. And as you can tell, we're just gonna go around the circle, making those quick cuts. First go slow, and then you guys can compete, time yourself or time each other, have some fun with it, but focus on movement quality before you try to ramp up the speed. And also, make sure you go both directions, meaning, I'll start with my inside leg. The cuts that I make are completely different. Then I gotta make sure I go in the opposite direction, so do clockwise and counterclockwise, okay? So that's drill number one. Drill number two to help you guys get faster on the field and increase your speed is going to be a sprint, jump cut to a sprint. All right, so many times again, if you are an offense, you have to number one, accelerate, make a defender miss, so either slide left, slide right, avoid somebody, period, and then obviously re-accelerate, so it makes sense if we just do this with our training, all right? So one drill we use again, sprint, jump cut the sprint, just to uh, teach you guys how to change directions and get up the field. So, how to quickly set it up. Again, you don't need cones. Just give yourself roughly five to 10 yards, you can vary this. We'll just go five for the sake of the video. So now, again, we have our acceleration zone, our jump cut where we wanna slide through those two cones, nice and tight. Again, on that, make sure you try to slide laterally, okay? So just like a hole opens up, you wanna slide literally. You don't wanna keep going forward. You wanna kind of be able to stop your momentum, completely change directions, like, you know, disappear like your Houdini, make someone miss, and then obviously get back up field, all right? So being able to stop rapidly, all your momentum, that's where the leg strength, a lot of weight room stuff comes in for you guys and obviously being able to hit that gas pedal again, okay? The third exercise to help you guys get faster on the field is simply an angled acceleration to a cut-up drill, all right? So once you start to understand these different drills, they're kind of like Legos. You can uh, you know, add things before them in the middle or after and really make whatever kind of drills you want to mimic what happens in your sport and on the field, all right? So real quickly, we just got set up. We got two cones roughly five yards apart, okay? We got a cone in the middle that we're gonna be accelerating to right here. And then at the end, we can cut straight up or cut, make angle cuts up to the side, all right? So this really gives you an endless uh, variation and possibilities to make different cuts, change different directions, and add a bunch of different things so your training never gets bored, all right? So uh, we're gonna quickly run through this drill for you. A couple of things about these drills is that we always need to vary which foot we lead with, all right? Because the magic of this drill is really, it mimics us in sports. Very rarely do you ever get to go straight ahead off the bat, okay? You always have to kind of be on the inside or outside edge of your feet. So that's gonna build some strength, 
for your feet and your ankles, as well as teach you how to accelerate and be fluid in you know, moving through the field and going around people, all right? So that's why little things like this are gonna have a big impact on your performance, help you get faster on the field. Recapping your three drills to help you with your speed. First was the star drill, where you're gonna teach you how to get in the right angles, change direction rapidly. Two was your sprint to jump cut sprint, where again, we'll teach you how to accelerate really hard, stop your momentum, make someone miss, and re-accelerate, get on that gas pedal. And three was your angle sprint to cut up drill, all right? So uh, put all those three things, that's gonna help you get faster on the field. Again, these drills are really there to help teach you and how, how to be fluid with your movement, all right? So again, uh, so that way it comes game time, it just becomes natural. Those are things you can drill right now on your own. Hey, you're a serious athlete, thank you for checking out the video. Make sure you hit a like if this was valuable for you. And we also put together a free uh, four week workout to help you athletes get faster, stronger, more explosive. That's in the link. Go ahead, grab that right now and I'll send that to you guys today.